TFNN. Headline News Update. Good Thursday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, company live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Thursday morning, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. And we have markets trending towards negative territory. The Dow hanging on to gains up by three points right now, 32,907. We were above 33,000 overnight on the futures. You got the tech stocks pulling back yet again. Rising yields, we're talking about 1.75 to 1.76%. The yield on the 10-year, that's causing tech stocks again to pull back. The NASDAQ 100, check out the acceleration last night. We were at 13,250. We're now with a 12,000 handle off 218 points on the session, 12,971. S&Ps are negative by 25 points, but we're about 40 points off the highs we had last night, 39.78. We were close to almost a 4,000 print on the S&Ps. We're now down 39.38, 40 points off of the high. And you can see kind of right back to where we were prior to Chairman Powell, the statement at 2 p.m., the press conference at 2.30. The market was trading at about 39.30 coming into that event. We trade higher throughout it. We've backed off and given up most of it this morning. Crude trading lower as well. We're under 64 at 63.69. You have gold off 70 cents, 17.26. You see gold gives it all back from where we were at 2 p.m. in Eastern time yesterday. Interesting action to trade so much higher. You give it all back. And then we got to jump to notes and bonds. Check out this move, right? Yesterday, again, we actually trend higher, a little bit of higher price and lower yield. As the statement comes out, Chairman Powell, nonetheless, the tenure makes it up to 132.08. End of the day yesterday, we've given back more than a full point right now in the tenure at 131.06. And jumping over to, just to pull up the yield on that tenure right now, 1.74% for the tenure. And what else we have? Thursdays, weekly jobless claims, uh, bigger number than, than the market was looking for. You're talking about 770,000. The week ended March 13th. The estimate, I believe it was around 720, is that right, or 700? Let's say about 700 was the estimate. Uh, it's a rise as well of about 30 to 40,000, I believe, from the prior week. When you look at the number of the total people, I always like to keep my eye on this, claims in all federal programs declined in the week ended February 27th. The total number of claims in all unemployment programs, because as people roll off the continuing claims number, which is down to 4.12 million for continuing claims, but when you in factor in all the federal programs, you're talking about 18.22 million people still. So that's reverberating in the markets. We got the S&Ps down 27 points. Stay tuned, folks. I'm coming back at 9 o'clock. Live programming all day at TFNN. Be right back.